Hi all, Bob here once again. Happy St. Swithin's Day to you all. Look out your windows, look at your weather forecast, or no, don't look at your weather forecast, just look out your window, look at your weather, and then it's supposed to be the same now for 40 days and 40 nights, and it's never ever worked. It's been monitored many times and been proven that it's never ever worked. And I had no idea who St. Swithin was, but I googled all about him. And if you want to know about him, just have a look on Google. It's quite an interesting story, really. But the, it, the myth is a load of... Uh, well, it's just a load of bullshit. It is a myth. It's never ever... It's never even come about. But there is one certain special thing about St. Swithin's Day as well. And that is, it's my birthday today. And I'm... Go on, shall I tell ya? I don't know whether, oh, what a terrible death. Uh, shall I tell you or not? Shall I? Shall I? Go on. I'm 49 years old today. And you're probably thinking, you sad bastard playing video games at 49 years old. Well, let me tell you, I'm 49 years old in the body, but I'm not nowhere near 49 years old in my mind. And I'm sure there's plenty of mature gamers out there as well, but they probably don't admit to their ages. I think I'm probably older than uh, than a lot of them that post on YouTube. They're all young lads and they've all got better reactions than me and they all get better scores than me. So today I thought I'd just do a celebratory video and put a bit of Black Ops on. It's the first time I've had Black Ops in the console for a long while because it started mucking about and I couldn't join games. And when I did join games all the sound was completely horrendous I don't know what was going on with the sound with Black Ops but it was all out of sync and when you put your spy plane up you put it up and then it told you five minutes later pretty much after it had gone that it was up but that seems to have sorted itself out at the moment so it was nice to play Black Ops because the picture is so much clearer on my TV than it is on Modern Warfare 3 and Modern Warfare 2 I don't know what they do with those Modern Warfare games but the visuals just don't seem to be as clear as Black Ops so it's nice to play a game of Black Ops with the Gold Org and uh, another thing I'd like to say about uh, my last video I just want to thank everybody that watched my last video and made a comment about poor Benson and even play with Niz oh bless him he's such a superb lad he even named one of his Minecraft videos after Benson as a tribute for me and I thought that was so kind of him so cheers Nick I watch all your videos I've followed you since the very beginning and I'll continue to watch you you provide some great entertaining content and your subscriber base is growing and I watched your one year video special the other day and I can't believe how far you've come in a year you've posted lots of good quality content lots of funny stuff as well and you always make me chuckle so keep up good work Nick and uh, yeah no problem for the shout out Nick anytime anybody that's watching my video that don't watch play with Niz's channel subscribe to play with Niz's channel I'm telling you now it's my birthday and if you don't subscribe I'll be very upset call it a present to me that's my birthday present subscribe to play with Niz and watch some of his videos because he is just awesome he's just a great great player so what else should we talk about? Well, I suppose the... Uh, I really don't like talking about new games and things like that, but Black Ops 2 hype seems to be everywhere. Medal of Honor hype seems to be everywhere. Whenever you go into game and... Oh, which one's shut? We've got one shut in Nacrington now. Is it game or game station? Game station closed, but game's still open. I think game and game station are one company, to be honest, and they shut one shop and went to another... And the shops here were extremely funny because one was opposite the other, dead opposite. And when you traded your games in, one had offered you one price and one had offered you the other. It was odd. It's the same company. How can they offer you different prices? But we have another shop in Accrington as well called Granger Games, and I believe they're from Scotland. And their second-hand games, and even the price of the new games, undercut Game Station. They're very cheap, well not very, very cheap, I mean you can't go and buy like a brand spanking new game like 10 or 15 quid cheaper than GameStation, but you'll often find that they're 3 or 4 quid cheaper, and they do boast about being the cheapest in town. Also, I am thinking about getting an Xbox, thinking about it, I've had to go on Aries and try to get use of the controller and stuff like that, so... I think I might get an Xbox and uh, have a bash at Xbox because there's a few commentators or a few people that I know 
that do have Xbox and it'd be a laughter game with them and there's one particular chap who's uh, who's requested uh, he, he's around us well I'm older than him but uh, he's, he's having trouble finding people of the same age to game with this is a problem when you get to a, the age that I am 49 years young it's difficult finding people of that age that you can actually find games to play because most of the lobbies and, and don't take this the wrong way at all most of the lobbies are full of young 12, 13, 14 year old kids well that's all very well you know, I've, you know it's the game they love to play and it's what they're doing nowadays but some of the chat if you try and chat to them well you can't get a decent conversation out of them because let's face it they've not had much experience in life and what a care package fail this was I threw that, I threw that oh dear, excuse me I'm dying I threw that too near the fence <laughs> and I, I thought I wonder if I can get it I wonder if I can get it well, let me get it. it was only ammo anyway but I could have swapped it over I suppose with my hardline pro so Black Ops 2 I haven't pre-ordered it yet because I don't know what's going on with these pre-order offers. They keep changing all these pre-order offers, what you're going to get. You're going to get a map, you're going to get this, you're going to get that. Now, does that mean you're going to get all of it? Or does that mean you only get the certain bit when you pre-order it? Like I think at the moment they're offering Nuketown as a downloadable content map. And I'd quite like Nuketown as a map. I'd rather have Nuketown than a prestige token for Modern Warfare 3 because I don't need any of them. And I don't really want a crappy poster because I've got a cupboard full of them. And they don't offer much else, do they really? What else do they offer? Not a great deal. So it looks like there's going to be the Elite Service running again. Now, to be honest, to be honest... I don't know if I'll buy Elite this time because I bought Elite for Modern Warfare 3 which doubled the price. Now they've got the sale. Oh, final kill cam from me, that's good. Um, now they've got the sale on so I think I've been ripped off slightly because I never use Elite whatsoever. I just do not bother with it and I'm not keen on the DLC much either. So anyway, that was my quick thank you to you all about the Benson tributes. Thank you ever so much and I just thought I'd share my birthday with you and uh, like I say subscribe to play with Niz and you all have a happy super day and I'll speak to you all very very soon and thank you for staying with the channel cheerio